Many years ago, our extended family built a 15-foot plywood dory. Our brother-in-law, Bill, brought over some drawings from the States, and we all gathered at my parents' house and we cut out parts and stuck them together. Given that this was new to all of us and we had very limited tools, it turned out surprisingly well. Not the tidiest, but seaworthy nonetheless. And that boat, for some reason, came to live with us. Bye bye. And it's been a wonderful thing ever since. We've had all sorts of adventures in it and we still use it every year to gather our mackerel harvest. It's a little heavy for two people though, so I thought it would be fun to make a second one, slightly smaller and lighter. So I'm trying out different shapes. Of course it would be nice to get the whole family together again for the build, but sadly Bill died this year and Sam died last year, so that was never going to happen. But who knows what the future will bring. Now I'm not a 3D drawer and I can't be bothered to learn just now so I'm drawing flat shapes and cutting them out of cardboard. Dories have flat bottoms and the simplest of them have just one facet or chine for the sides and a narrow stern plank called a transom. And that's all there is to them, four parts. But once they're all attached together, they become remarkably strong. The curvatures pull against each other and the shape becomes super rigid. Given that a simple design makes for an easy build, uh, these end up lightweight and easy to row, and stackable and stable on the water, and most importantly they look so beautiful, then you can see why I'm a fan of dories. If you look them up, you will see that they are an old French design that was developed in Canada for the cod fishing on the Grand Banks. I can only imagine being in the middle of the Atlantic in a tiny rowing boat like this, trying to get fish aboard quick before the mothership disappears into the fog. Now, curiously, you don't see many of these here in Ireland. But maybe we can do something about that. The aim at least for now is to build a 13 foot boat. But I'm starting with the model based on our original 15 foot one. And I don't think we can just scale it down in exact proportions because it might get a bit too narrow. So I'm making some variations just to see how they compare. And Look at how easy it is to change the shape. If you alter any of these dimensions, you get a different boat. Plus, once it's assembled, you can still change the shape of it by easing the sides apart. And this gives you more curve to the top line and it makes the bottom more rigid but rounded. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it could allow the boat to slide sideways over the water even more than they already do. So this is going to be very interesting to see how they turn out. I think this is the one we'll go with and the next step is to make a larger model to make sure it really all fits together everywhere. But I don't have big enough pieces of card. I get these from Phyllis in the art shop. 
they're left over from the framing process. But that's okay, gives me a chance to try finger jointing the pieces together because we're going to need to do that when we build the bigger version. Ooh, stay tuned.